Steve Sewell, the OERB representative for the state of Oklahoma. They're going to approach us at a later time to uh, work out the MOU that we've had and to uh, respond to it. And I told him uh, just send the information to Ms. Reynolds and we'll get started with that. The other is that uh, you'll have to excuse me. Like everyone else here, the kids will not keep bringing that. <laughs> We have an issue on today's agenda. Some of the items that I've been requested to uh, we will we'll table and take it on to the 19th when all of our council's present. And also the uh, issues that we haven't had the documents to support. The uh, one issue I do want to talk about is on the DMD moving to under the Bureau of Indian Affairs. We have some comments that are going to come up. I also would like to say that I've asked it to be on the ICWIG agenda that I will be uh, presenting at the end of the month in Phoenix. Uh, with that, I'd like to go into new business and go. Is there any other items that the council would like to speak of? I almost forgot. We're going to be requesting to set our date for our consultation meeting. And then, brother, if you will, keep us on track. Uh, they're looking at the 11th. They said they're looking at possibly the 11th. Of what month? Of March. March 11th. And we'll wait till we get the official email. I saw it yesterday. And let me run down these real quick. I think that that covers what I'd like to say. <coughs> With that being said, I'd like to go to new business item. A Braveheart lease extension. Mr. Fletcher, please make yourselves at home. Thank you, Chairman Wall. We are here today asking for a one year extension on a lease that we acquired almost uh, 18 months ago. It expires this September. I believe we will have the work done uh, before it expires, but just trying to be a little cautious. Um, Last, last summer, we, we ran into a little issues with the weather uh, and didn't quite get all the work done that we anticipated. Now, what we have completed is we've been to the, <coughs> to the lease. We've got the electric infrastructure up and running. Um, we have <coughs> the inspection pump in to get it fixed. And we have identified a couple of issues in the tank battery that we need to resolve. We have the Pumping unit, um, I guess you would say we haven't purchased it, but we know where we're getting it. Uh, and believe that will be on the lease in the next, call it 60 days. 
Um, and probably the biggest obstacle we still have left is the MIT and the one injection well on the lease, which we are trying to get that scheduled here in the next 30 days. Which uh, required to the uh, well itself, so you can have it in 30. You think you can have the unit pumping in 60? Uh, that might be a little quick, but I think, I mean, I think probably we're trying to have me, we're trying to be done by the end of March, but it seems like everything we've touched lately doesn't quite go as planned. Uh, but I would, I would think by the end of the summer, that one. Yes, sir. Council, you got any other questions? I'm going to ask one. Did that initial lease was only a two year primary term? Yes, sir. We have moved them all to three yes, on the sales. Um, I would advocate for that. But if there's any questions, do you want to take it on to the 19th so we can hear from our other council? Do you see any problem with me asking for the motion today? I make a motion that we approve it. Thank you. Second. 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 I have a motion on the floor by Councilman <clears throat> Harlan. Second by Councilman Redcorn. The discussion uh, open. Uh, I'm fighting on computer. You made a motion to approve what? The one year extension. Make it a three year lease. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I don't think we do extensions. I think we wait till they terminate. And, and then once they, they give terminate, a year lease. they've got well, a. We'll just do a one year lease then. For how much? You gonna prorate that out as a oil and gas or an oil lease? It is an oil and gas lease. Uh, I believe it was an oil and gas lease. Mm -hmm. So I think we paid four years, six hundred forty. Yeah. My suggestion, well, just my Please. suggestion, just myself. I would let it run its course, and at the near the end, I would let it terminate, and then there's a period. I forget what they call that, where they uh, you can waive your uh, thirty day thirty day no appeal period, and then at that time we can renegotiate it. It's still yours. We can renegotiate it for a three year lease or prorate it to a one, two, or three, whatever you like. As we've done in the past. Yeah, councilman. Would it be easier to just amend his lease to make it a you know extend it by a year? It would have been, but that's not the way the it's, Bureau it's, of Indian Affairs is going to handle it. It's a, it's three years now, but it's two years. It's got a two year. When does it expire? Uh, September. September. We're fine. September. I'll, I'll rescind my motion. Thank you. Oh, oh excuse me. She, she rescinded it, so. One more problem, man, if you're going to rescind Yes, sir. I, I just as a second, are you okay with that? Uh, I, I was going to say, let's just vote on it and let chips fall where they may with the BIA. Okay. we got to start exerting more authority, so I'd be in favor of requesting an extension and see what yes, happens. Sir. An yes, extension sir. or an amendment? Extension, just like it says here. But you've rescinded your motion, so I guess it's moot now. But to the anyway, just a comment. Yes, Council. I'd like a motion we grant their extension. Uh, a point of order, I'm just making sure I'm clear of the first one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were sending, um, so his motion comes into play now. I'll second his motion. Okay. <coughs> so yes, sir. Mr. Fletcher, what was you going to say? I'm sorry to interrupt. I was just going to ask if we went down the other route, do we have a period of time there where we have protection mm -hmm. on you know, the dollar spend? If, it, if we, for some reason, we get to September and we don't have the lease producing, or what, we can, kind of, what risk do we I have? I understand, yeah, I, I thought you might go down that road. Um, once I terminate your lease, then you have a period of time in there to appeal to show just cause on why it shouldn't be uh, terminated. Whether you have protection there or not, I don't know. Um, that would be a question for the Bureau. We could table this till uh, the next meeting right. when our uh, trust uh, people are here to answer that question. Hearing no second on the motion that's on the floor. I what, oh, she did second it. Second. What, what's the motion? To give that year extension. Let's see what they did. Offer. 
question. Can you clarify the pillars and the acidic or is it your brain heart? It's in brain heart. Thank you for that clarity, because that's another issue that uh, mine shows great. Mm. Councilwoman Foreman? Yes. Councilwoman Harlan? Yes. Councilman Redcorn? Yes. Councilman Red Eagle? Yes. Uh, Chairman Waller? No. Secretary Gates? No. Most dispatches. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. And uh, how do we get, do they request that extension element? What is their first move, BIA? What's uh, the <coughs> resolution? I'll sign it this evening, and then you'll have the proper document. Yes, Um. So we're just gonna see if this works or not. If it doesn't, please come back to us so we can figure out how to move forward after that. Thank you, ma'am. We're just trying to exert a little Effort here. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. With that, I'd like to go to new business. Item B, John Wong. There, if you'll make sure. Thank you, Chairman Waller. Excuse me. I'm going to deliver also, so it's kind of. It's okay, dear. I have. Five leases, but I understand you only have one. Um, Council, you I looked at this morning and more to book it. I can't get it to come up now. But I looked at this morning and all I seen was your Rock Creek lease. I didn't see the other four that you were telling me earlier about. Um, I can speak to Rock Creek and uh, Councilwoman Foreman might be interested in this. I'm all in favor of giving. I, I would like to know, is there any equipment left on that lease? That I don't know for sure. That's information would be interesting to know because uh, this is a uh, former Halcoon Ram Energy horizontal. Uh -huh. So it's very similar to what you've been talking about on other areas of the county that you thought were needed to be, you know, uh, kept from being plugged. My question is, is this a stall tactic to keep from having to plug this lease out? No, he wants to put it back in production. See. But he wants to keep it on that one quarter where he can, instead of bridge plug, because he doesn't want to use it as a horizontal well. And I'm not familiar with this horizontal, you know, how they do that, so I'm not sure what our next, you know, how to write the procedures to right. just use, you know, to not use the horizontal part of it and go into a different zone. Um, Again, I thought this would be interesting for Councilwoman Council. Foreman that, that this is similar to what, and and like I've said before, <coughs> if some of those interested parties would come in and, and want to pick those up for minimum uh, uh, nomination, I would. I mean, you know, that, that'd give them three years to figure out what they could do with it. And, <coughs> and I know if that lease, I, and I wonder why he's not going for oil only and not oil and gas. I think there was a problem with someone wanting to pick that gas up. They didn't want to. They wanted to it. charge him in order to pick the gas right. up. Yeah, I thought it might be isolated or stranded. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'll you. Well, now that I have some questions, and perhaps uh, Councilmember Yates can answer them for me. Um, you say it's a horizontal well. Is it not completed? Is it a horizontal well that was drilled and the, and the lateral, yeah. the horizontal lateral was drilled but not completed? I'm not really familiar with that lease, but I know uh, when they were drilling them, these were the ones that were less successful on the eastern side of the county. They, they, they drilled them, produced them, and they didn't come in near as good as some of those that were further west. Well, here's why I was real concerned about plugging the ones further west. They were, the horizontal lateral portion was not completed. The wells that are scheduled to be plugged, which I'm not sure everybody understood when I explained it the last time, were capable of 200 barrels a day, if they got completed, is what the geologist said, who drilled them said. Uh, I have to rely on, on his knowledge. Potential. And that's all eight, I think there were eight. You know, and, and geologists are optimistic, but uh, you know they know what they're talking about. 
So uh, my concern would be that she said that she's not intending to complete the horizontal lateral. Um, and if it's not, I wish I knew more about, you know, the success of that and what the reports were. Um, so, and if there's potential gas, I would prefer that, you know, it be in oil and gas. Just, what zone are you? Uh, in Mississippi. Which is, is that, does that associate a gas? In the Mississippi? Yeah. They have to come back to get the sales and a division order accepted. Yeah, they have to yeah, come yeah. back to us and get the lease. Okay. So yeah. this is, if we are talking about the southwest quarter of Section 9, 26 North 10 mm -hmm. East. Okay. But you said you had uh, four other leases that goes with it? Yes, I, I sent them in first. That's why I sent this other one in. Okay. Are they combination oil and gas or are they oil only? Oil only. Um, and they're all you're wanting to negotiate them separately yes see, there, there are four different quarter sections see i don't have any information in front of me i, I don't is it on board book it i don't see it uh, only one i'm prepared to <coughs> deal with is the one that was on board book it and i'll make a motion to accept that uh, uh southwest 9 26 10 for oil only and the amount of $3,600 for a three-year term and a 20% royalty. Yes, sir. I'll make that motion. Second. I have a second. I have a motion on the floor by second chair Gabe, seconded by Councilwoman Harlan. I don't have the legal in front of me for at least primary term for three years, payment of $3,600 at 20% royalty. And this is actually the uh, Rock Creek lease. Rock Creek lease. I have one question open for discussion. Council, go right ahead. Call for the question. I, I, I will just after I answer this, ask this one question. Once I get this lease, the Bureau of Indian Affairs needs to make this the effort to show that this lease, once I sign it and send over to BIA, that they have the responsibility of that well board immediately upon approval. One piece of information, and I just now, when I asked, was they trying to stall on the plug-in? This is their former lease. It, it, it was terminated. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now that's all the information I have on this. The yes. rest of them I have no information. I do know where one of them is. It's my favorite. But sticking to this one. Just this one. Yeah. I'd like to call for the question. Uh, excuse me, Councilman Reddy. Just one comment. And I talked to her earlier a while ago and before the meeting. She said see, they're, they're taking about 60 days on work over permits in the process. Okay. Now, there's probably a little bit longer on the uh, short sure. one. I just thought I'd put that in. Yes, sir. Call for the question. Councilwoman Harlan? Yes. Councilman Redcord? Yes. Councilman Redigal? Yes. Chairman Waller? One lease. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Secretary Yates? Yes. Councilwoman Corbin? Yes. Motion passes. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. If you want to, uh, Director, to maybe come back on, on the 19th. 19th. And we'll have time to consider them and do our, our due diligence and, get, and look into what we As a package, but we'll separate it out on the resolution. Right. right, and we're going to deal with them separately. But you can send it. Yeah, we'll, we'll take care of that on the 19th. Well, I knew you'd probably do it separate, but I'll put it all on one letter. That, that'll work, as long as we know what we're doing. Yes, ma'am. We're all on the same Thank time. you very much. Thank you. With that, I'd like to go into new business, JVD Oklahoma LLC and Fisco Gas Storage. Gentlemen, please, make yourselves at home. I'm Gary Strand. This is my partner, PJ Buck. He's more familiar with the operations than I am. He'll talk to you about it. Yes, sir. Gary, we, yeah. we ended up with this. Excuse no, me. I'm sorry. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. The Invesco Gas Storage field, it dates back to Phillips in, I believe it was 1954. We ended up with it in a package of chaparral's stuff. You know, That's correct. And we have no need for the storage field, but I feel like it's something that uh, you all may want to hang on to. I mean, it's there's seven well bores, and our interest is, is either we'll plug it, or if it wants, you know, somebody else could have some value to it. 
that's that's kind of where we're we're at on it. When when we bought these leases from Chaparral, it was our understanding that the Minerals Council wanted to keep this themselves. It wasn't going to get assigned to us, but it did get assigned to us. That's correct. Uh, it's it's been abandoned for years. There's just seven well bores out there that either somebody needs to try and operate it again or it needs to be. When's its last proper documentation on the usage? Well, I, I, I'd have to go back and look at some of the stuff. We don't Literally, have Literally, when the boosters were out there? Probably. I mean, we're, we're talking that, that long. Yeah, it's probably been at least that long. Man, it's, it's had to be about the 90s. It's been I, I would guess, because that was a uh, the, the gas field for the Burbank field. Yes, we they used booster it, and sent right, it on. And they the sent it, yes, so that's what they did with it. I really think Chaparral just thought it was cheaper to pay the rent than to plug the wells. Yeah. And so they, that's a good business opportunity and investment. Right. So they kept, kept paying the rent every year. We, we're not using it. We just want to know no. if you want it back or you want us to pay. Well, you know, one or the other. I think we do want it back, as we did the other storage. Or do you want to go ahead and have the responsibility of them plug it? Well. Council, any of them. I, I will speak to it. I, I would. I wouldn't see any benefit if uh, I go back to the, the oil man is the best entrepreneur there is. If there's not any money to be made, yes, sir. there's not money for us to make. Uh, uh, the age of these wells, they're, they're probably not in the best of shape. They've probably, they haven't been used since the 90s. They were, um, do you have any idea when they were drilled? You know, I, I look at some of the stuff and back in the 50s, it was originally drilled, I believe, by a company called Invesco. And it was uh, it was a big salt field, is what it was, 900 and some feet deep, and that you know it's a large section of sand that had a lot of gas in it. Yes. The wells made 25, 30 million when they came in, and then I think Phillips came in and took a blanket lease from the That's council, correct. and they went in and plugged and repaired or drilled some new ones. I don't think the wells, some of them date way back that are already plugged, but there's others that were seven inch completions and stuff. I mean, and like I said, they're relatively shallow. I mean, you know, they're 900, 900 feet, 950 foot deep is what they are. That's pretty close to uh, um, fresh water out in that area. I, I, I mean, it sounds crazy, but uh, yeah, no, I, when yeah. we did that flyover in that area, I think they, they were showing fresh water <coughs> pretty close to that area. Mm -hmm. I mean, it surprised us because the, some of the ranchers had said we got a thousand foot freshwater well up there. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. they did. Thousand, a thousand foot. I, I, I it may have been six hundred, but yeah. somewhere in that area, you know, it's deeper than which is it? It's, <laughs> it's deeper than the normal. Yeah. But there right. is an area up there somewhere in that uh, deeper water. Chapman Warner Four Acre right. area where they had they, they found deeper some wells. deep fresh water <coughs> that they verified. Right. So, right. I, I don't know that we would, we may want to carry it to the 19th and give someone a chance to research it. Uh, now that I've heard the depth of these whales, <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I, I looked at it this morning on the board book, it was on sideways, and I, I, I couldn't print it, and I was <laughs> trying to read all these outdated documents side, you know, sideways. Uh, I, I don't know, that's just my thought. Right. I would rather plug it protect the environment and, and, and the integrity of the field so there's no cross-contamination of formations. Uh, Fresh water. Et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Councilman. Thank you, Chair. Uh, Thank you, Councilman. I'm having a hard time here. Can you guys tell me what you're wanting us to do? Tell me what's going on. In it, it was a storage field that Phillips yeah, okay. had, yeah. and it was in the Chaparral package okay. that we had purchased. We purchased several of them. Okay. And this Invesco was in there, and we, we never wanted it, and we were under the impression that it was never going to be assigned to us. But it was assigned to us. It was really? assigned by, hold on, if I can, I need to. Yeah, because, by okay. the BIA. You know, okay, we, the BIA, we, so you guys have this right. in your possession. And we have no need for it. We need to either plug it or if somebody. Because what are you asking us to do? We just want to know whether or not you want us to plug it or if you want us to tr return it to the tribe. Okay. Uh, Chairman, if I may, we probably need some feedback from BIA, and I would request that this happen before the 19th. Yes, sir. Uh, and maybe talk to their engineer. 
just to give us our options right. on what is, and, and including Robin before the 19th, which I think I agree with second chair. I'd like to hear what the BIA says. Yep. We just didn't want to go we, out and start plugging it if you wanted it. Yes. We, we'll gladly yes, plug it. Yeah. We just wanted to see what you wanted to do with it. Right. Yeah. We Sorry, I, I, I mean, was that, trying to catch that. That's our own Is that I'm a motion? Clear. Thank you, Chair. Is that a motion to table? I have make a motion we table till the 19th. Second. Second. Excuse me, we're, we're not going to be available to the 19th. Can we do it the next? Meeting you sure can. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of the country that, that time. Hey, no, no, I'm, I'm going to work for And we appreciate you. Okay. First off. All right. So you're on the table to the. Uh, yeah, I'm just letting Lisa catch up. March. March 6th. Thank you, Dan. But we'll probably need to put it on the agenda for the 19th. Uh, we, get, we need to bring it to the rest of the, or the full council on the 19th. To discuss it. <coughs> oh, we'll buy it then. Uh, you're in the second aquifer, is why I'm thinking uh, we might ought to go ahead and do that just discussion now. That's what I'll be promoting uh, on the 19th. Right. Ma'am, call for a question. Table. Councilman Redcorn? Yes. Councilman Redigle? Yes. Chairman Wallace? Yes. Second Chair Gates? Yes. Councilwoman Foreman? Yes. Councilwoman Harmon? Yes. Motion passes. Yes, sir. We'll be taking care of it. Thank you, Thank you for your Thank time. You. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day. Uh, Councilman Redcorn, uh, we're from the Well Committee, sir. Thank you, Thank you Chair. Uh, if you look in board bucket in front of you, it's a confidentiality agreement. This is for uh, Emerald has certain technical inventions. They, they have a coal bed methane technology they would like. Uh, the orphan well to consider. This is a pro bono uh, delivery to the orphan well committee for consideration. Uh, they asked uh, if we do testing of this in some of our COVID methane orphan well locations that we have a non disclosure agreement that's in front of you. Uh, the motion passed through the Orphan Well Committee for consideration here at the Mineral Council. Has uh, Council for OMC looked at this? I'm sorry? Ha has uh, Mr. Pipestead had an opportunity to look at this? No, we, in our committee, we said we got to bring it to the full council first before we send it to attorneys, and we don't want to make sure that. The council's directing who sees it, not us. I make a motion that we uh, submit this to legal counsel for review. Question. I'll make a second. I have a second counsel, discussion. Which legal counsel? Because is this a okay? So it's a proprietary type yes, question on an oil and gas. Yes. Okay. I'm a good. You handle that. <laughs> for a certain price. <laughs> gotcha. Call for the question. Call for the... Yes, sir. Councilman Reddigle? Yes. Chairman Waller? Yes. Second Chair Yates? Yes. Councilwoman Foreman? Yes. Councilwoman Harlan? Yes. Councilman Redcorn? Yes. Motion passes. Uh, if I may, uh, the Orphan Well Committee, I if I can bring it up, but we decided to change the name of our committee and we voted to, and passed it because we're now handling the EOR project and I think some other the other issues. We want to call it the Production and Exploration Committee. Production and Development? Development. Oh, Development Committee. Yeah. Production. Is that okay, Chair, if I can bring that up for consideration? And that way we can handle the orphan well and the grant deliverables and enhanced oil recovery. And I think this form has got some other issues, or not issues, but opportunities and bringing it through the committee. If, if we were gonna call it, you know, we decided to call it the Production and Development Committee uh, I said, well, we might as well eliminate the natural gas and handle natural gas issues under the Production and Development Committee. So that's kind of 
where we're going with it. I, I will ask that since this wasn't an agenda item, we go to the 19th. Is that too late for you? That's fine. That's and I do like the idea. We had discussed that this new name will also allow the interpretation of the grants, the orphan well, and other elements that we have provided. Okay. And as we discussed, I meant to say this, I wanted to thank our executive Osage Nation and our Osage Nation Congress for meeting with us this week. That was a very well done, and we explained the efforts of the council. But with that being said, is that that it came up during that meeting is that we are looking at a couple other elements which has come up, and you and I both, uh, with the council's agreement, uh, should be looked at by us. Okay, I'm ready to go. I do have a under new business IT media committee. Uh, Councilwoman Gray had looked with a. Uh, the other day we had our first effort at a Zoom meeting here with the uh, Osage Minerals Council, the upgrade and update with our efforts here allowing us to do broadcast and live. But Magda, who is the contractor that went through the procurement process, has had some issues and brought us the items in which you all have seen. What are the efforts that we have uh, to brand ourselves as Osage Minerals Council? This URL is one of the issues that came up and we'll discuss it today, but uh, I would actually ask it to be tabled. The URL is that we uh, domain these efforts on the platforms uh, at a minimal cost. And with that being said, I would like to uh, table it until we get the chairperson and councilman Revart in the room. But that's that's the issue what came up, that uh, we would look at that. And is that okay to take care? I'll make the motion myself. I'll second. And I have a second by Councilwoman Harlan. And I'd, I'd like to ask her the question. Can I, uh, yes, just before we vote, I think Councilman Redcorn doesn't know what we're doing. He wasn't in that meeting. I think everybody else was. Oh, you weren't in there either. No. Um, and so Magnum, the company that we've employed, contracted with, suggested for our website, you know, the URL. Well, they, they suggested that we go ahead and secure at least two of them that we may want to choose from. And they're real nominal, like $20. Okay. Um, I cannot remember off the top of my head. One was Osage Minerals and one was Osage Nation Minerals or something. OsageMineralsCouncil.com. And then we would brand it on the other platforms of uh, just like the other efforts would be made. And then we were going to come. Uh, we didn't like the first one. And, and so Magnum would purchase it and we would decide which one we wanted and purchase it from them. Okay. Um, but I think where we're, uh, where we are now is just to pass this to the 19th until everyone can be here. Okay. And you have the vote. We're ready to go. Yep. Okay. With that being said, uh, DEM. Yeah, I've call, no, call for the question. I'm sorry. Chairman Waller. Yes. Secretary Yates. <laughs> yes. Councilwoman Foreman. Yes. Councilwoman Harlan. Yes. Councilman Redcorn. Yes. Councilman Yes. Yeah. Thank you. And with that, uh, I'd like to uh, have new business item F, D, E, M, D. Councilman Foreman. Yes. Uh, I uh, sent out uh, an email and an attachment to the entire council recently uh, concerning the move, the uh, proposal to move the uh, D, E, M, D uh, under the directorship of the BIA. Up, uh, up until, well, at least for a while, they've been reporting directly to the Assistant Secretary of Indian Affairs and have had quite, they've had a lot of su success at that level reporting directly to the Assistant Secretary with uh, getting more money, being able to respond <clears throat> to tribal concerns and needs. And <clears throat> this move under the BIA, pardon me, would put more levels of management in between the assistant secretary uh, and the DEMD, and uh, I believe it'll make it less um, productive and efficient. 
uh, it could take money away and be redirected as happened when originally, I guess, the EMD was under the BIA and a lot of the money that was allocated to them was uh, redistributed elsewhere. Uh, so I, I'm against uh, this move. And there's going to be consultation meetings uh, scheduled. Um, I intend to go to the one in Tulsa, although I think it's, I've seen one document that says it's in March. This document says February, so I'm not sure about the date for the Tulsa consultation meeting, but it would be my um, motion <clears throat> to pass a resolution against this move uh, and prepare a comment uh, to, to submit at the consultation meeting by our chairman. Yes, Council. Is that a motion? That's a motion for a resolution against okay. this I'll move. Second. I have a motion. I have a motion on the floor by Councilwoman <laughs> Foreman, seconded by Councilman Redcorn. Discussion. Uh, I'd like to hear from the council behind me. I can make a recommendation at NCAI on next week. Uh, I know that Councilwoman Gray is going to be there. I'm going to be there. They're going to have the first consultation. We've heard from Interior other information about why it's a good thing that this should be built and we should support this. Oh. Um, in part because the DEMD is largely contractors. There's inefficiencies there, but uh, what I have heard is that, or I would recommend to the council is that we go to that consultation in Washington, D.C. next week, hear what they have to say, and then formulate a position. Just gather information first. Um, so uh, I, I want to talk more if we can in executive session about this issue. Okay. Is that okay? Yes. So, um, <clears throat> not knowing, you know, what legal counsel was going to say, but uh, one immediate concern that that jumps out at me is we're coming into an election year. We don't know what's going to happen, and it may be necessary to have a little bit of layer of protection on DEMD um, okay. because. I, I, just to be honest, I think if, if the other party gets in, we go back to where we were instead of, you know, America being the highest oil producer, blah, 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 blah. Um, so I, I would be concerned about trying to figure out the pros and cons before we just jump on this and, and, and vote on it. I didn't get the email early on, so uh, today's the first day I'm looking at this, but... Uh, I would be real concerned about not hearing the what else has to be said. I'm going to go ahead and rescind my second on that resolution until we hear from you. I, I will rescind the motion and we'll wait to hear what discussions <clears throat> were had at the uh, NCAI. Got to table it. We can table it, yes. Uh -huh. Motion to table. Second. Make a motion to table this. Second. And that would be what the question is called for. Motion by Councilman Redcorn, seconded by Councilwoman Foreman to table. Second, Chair Yates. Second, Chair Yates. Yes. Councilwoman Foreman. Yes. Councilwoman Harlan. Yes. Councilman Redcorn. Yes. Councilman Red Eagle. Yes. Chairman Waller. Yes. Motion Thank you. You want to go into executive session? Make a motion to go into executive. Second. Second. I have a motion on the floor by second chair Gates. Second by Councilwoman Foreman. No discussion. Call for the question. Go into executive, please. Councilwoman <coughs> Foreman? Yes. Councilwoman Harlan? Yes. Councilman Redcorn? Yes. Councilman Red Eagle? Yes. Chairman Waller? Yes. Secretary Chair Gates? Yes. 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 yes, thank you. During the executive session, we'll uh, clear the chambers and go right into it. <laughs>